Hi there. Today, you're going to discover how you can use Google Spreadsheets to create your own round robin tennis tournament schedule and scorecard. All right, let's see how this works here. For a round robin tennis tournament, for every participant that you have here, each player will play against everyone else once. Okay, so let's say you have six players here and their names are listed. This little schedule will tell you who plays against who for each given round. So for six players, we have five rounds. And as you'll see, Alex plays against Felix in the first round, Bob against Ali, Ellie, Kara against Dave. In the second round, Alex versus Bob, Kara versus Ellie, Dave versus Felix, and so on and so forth. So each player in this tournament will play one set. And so for that set, you want to make sure you record the score here in the scorecard. So for round one, for instance, Alex versus Felix, Alex, as you'll see, beat Felix six by four. Now, if the score happens to be five, five in a given set, the player will follow the standard rules of tennis and whoever gets to seven, five first will win. If the score gets to 6-6, six, six, there will be a tiebreaker um, following which the score will become 7-6 and that will be recorded here. So once you have all the games won recorded for every round, this column will total up the number of games won for each player and whoever has the most number of games won will be the winner. So as you can see here, Dave has 29 games won, so he is the winner and that is reflected right here. So in the spreadsheet, there are formulas set up so that this schedule is automatically calculated along with the total number of games won along with the winner. The only things you would need to input in this little spreadsheet are the names of the people who are participating and their scores. After that, everything's all set. Now the cool thing is if you need to add more players, um, simply bring down the number of rows here and you can copy the formulas down. In addition, you would do the same thing for the scorecard. So um, all those formulas are set so that it's very easy for you to edit the spreadsheet based on the number of players. In our next video, you're going to decode this spreadsheet, understand how these formulas were determined, and go on and set up your round robin tennis tournament. See you. Hi there. If you are curious how you would create this round robin tennis tournament, then here you are. You are in the right place. We are going to try to decode the spreadsheet. All right, so let's start with the schedule area. Once you have all the names listed here, you want to make sure that the names are in the same order reflected horizontally. And so one formula you can use is the transpose formula, which is a type of array formula. So feel free to check out the video to understand exactly how that works. All it does really is it takes everything here located vertically in column C and it will transpose it. In other words, translate it horizontally across so that it matches exactly what's located here vertically. In addition, so now when you have, say, in this case, six players, it's an even number, the number of rounds that'll occur in the tournament is actually five. It's one less whenever you have an even number of participants. When you have an odd number of participants, it's equal, the number of rounds equal to the number of participants. Okay, so what we have first is don't let this fool you. We have used some formatting tricks to hide numbers located here because it's not quite relevant to us. However, it is relevant to us in helping us to set up the formulas. So take a look here and keep your eye here on the formula box. You will notice that we have numbers 1, 2, it's actually a formula, D7 plus 1 is 2, all the way across 3, 4, 5 and we have the same formula going across down here. The difference now is we don't want a number beyond five to come up in the spreadsheet because we only have five rounds. So as such, we've set up an if formula such that if the number is equal, 
Look here, D26, number of participants. If it's equal to 6, reset the number back to 1. So at that point, you will never see a 6 here because once the number 6 is reached, the number is reset to 1, as you can see right here in cell D12. And so we do the same thing across columns, and the same formula is set. Now the one difference now is whenever you see this red box, this type of game can't make sense because Bob can't play against himself. Kara can't play against herself. So we take this number and we put that at the bottom of the row. So this number theoretically should have been a 3. And at that point, we take this cell and copy it. So at all, the bottom cell here, bottom row here, will equal every red cell. That's basically an impossible game. So try this out on your own when setting this up. Um, you can try it with, say, an odd number of participants. And you will notice that this will work. Now the scorecard is quite easy because the user will input the scores and at that point this is just a simple sum formula to add up all the games won for each player. Finally, for the winner, we use an index and match function. So this is it's um, a little bit complex, but it's extremely useful. So I would encourage you to take a look at our video that talks about the index and the index and match function. What this formula was able to do was it was able to look at what the highest total number of games scored was and reference it back to who it is. So in this case, it looked here, determined that 29 was the high score and was able to match it back to Dave. Okay, you know what? That is really it. It's We've got a couple of basic formulas, everything that you can master, and using that, you yourself can create this spreadsheet. We'll see you next time.